Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another SAS haul and the last one. Okay, I swear. This is the last SAS haul. I don't need anything else because Halloween and fall are already coming out and I need to slow my roll. So yeah, I did go to my local, well, not my local Bath & Body Works. Actually, it's near my mom's house. I did go with her to Bath & Body Works to shop the sale. We went to the outlet mall. I did have a shop with me video that I'll link up above for you guys to go ahead and check that out. But this is the aftermath of that trip. And I do actually have her haul, which I'll insert at the end that I took a video while we were still at the house. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into my haul. Okay, first up, I actually got a full set in Beach Night. So let me stick these down real quick. But I wanted to tell you how much they were. My store had them on the 50% off table, but they were actually 75% off when I checked out and I had a 20% off coupon. So they came out to 270, 289 and 330. So I guess it just depends on which product I got. But yes, I did get a full set. So I got the Fine Fragrance Mist, the Shower Gel and the Body Lotion. So very excited to have this one. I'm gonna save it for next year. I'm already using a different set right now. So this is my backup just to save, but yeah. It is a beautiful scent. I've been really loving it. It's definitely not that like vanilla marshmallow that we thought it would be. It does have like an airy beach note, but I'm finding myself really loving it. So very excited to have this. The next thing that I have is Whip Vanilla Chiffon and my store associate was so sweet and she did like peel off the Try Me sticker. This was actually on the display as like a try, I don't know what they call it, like a tester. Yeah, a tester scent. It did have the packaging on it from online order. She said they just opened it this morning and she doesn't think that anybody had used it, which it doesn't look gunky or anything on like the spout. It does a little bit on the front, but that could have just been because it's been in the bins for a while. But I really wanted whipped vanilla chiffon because I still have the fine fragrance mist left over from a few years back, honestly. And I wanted something to kind of make it into a set that I can use next spring. So I did pick it up right here and it was on the $3 table. So with my 20% off coupon, it came out to $2.40. So really, really good find. I have not seen Whip Vanilla Chiffon at all out this year. So I will read you guys the notes too. Wild Vanilla Bean Spun Sugar and White Peach Blossom. So it is basically just like a vanilla scent with a slight tinge of floral and kind of fruity floral with that white peach blossom. I love it, it's such a pretty scent. I love the Fine Fragrance Mist, so I'm happy to have it again in some different body care form, so very happy about that one. Okay, the next one I'm really excited that I found, it's Almond Blossom in the Shower Gel, so super excited to find this one. Again, I still have the Fine Fragrance Mist for, from probably 2020, and I picked up the lotion at this same exact store like three or four weeks ago when SAS first started, and all they had was the lotion. Well, this time they had the shower gel, the lotion, and the spray. So I did pick up the shower gel, super excited to have this one. It was on the $2 table. So with my coupon, it came out to $1.60. You cannot beat that, you guys. For a retired scent, that's usually like $7 sometimes on sale. Um, oh, it is such a beautiful scent. I'm so excited to bring this out for fall. It does say on the back, warm and cozy. Um, it doesn't have notes actually, it has a sentence. So it says sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid and cashmere musk. So you can see why I would like this one. It is such a beautiful, cozy scent. So I'm very excited to have this full set that I can use for the fall this year. Okay, and that's all the body care. So now I have a few hand soaps. The first couple hand soaps are actually from winter of last year. And one is ice cinnamon rolls and twisted peppermint. And these were on the $2 table, so with my coupon, they were $1.60 each, so really good. And I figured I would save these for winter time. I don't have any hand soaps actually right now that I'm saving for winter. I have a few that I bought for fall, but not winter yet. So Twisted Peppermint, I thought would be really yummy. And Ice Cinnamon Rolls, you can't go wrong. I think it does have, yeah, it has like some orange in it too. So I could even use it in the fall if I want to, but very excited to have those. And then the last hand soap I have is Rainbow Cereal. I could not pass up on this one. Um, the scent notes are Fruity Cereal Crunch and a splash of, splash of Milk. To me, it smells like Fruity Pebbles. I know everyone says Lucky, not Lucky Charms, um, Fruit Loops. 
but to me it sounds like Fruity Pebbles, maybe just because I ate that more as a kid, but yeah, could not pass up on this one. It was $3, so with the coupon it was like $2.60, so really good deal on that one. Now something that I'm super excited about that I found that I was bummed I missed out on before is these two packs of scents. So I'm very excited to have these. They were on sale for $4.95 and then with the coupon they were actually $3.96. So they were under $4 each. So each bulb was basically $2. So I went for basically fall scents, but like early fall scents. The first one being Honeycrisp Apple, which apple you could really use any time of year. I purposely got this one because I knew it wasn't like too fall-like to where it would be weird if I used it now. Um, the next one is Warm Apple Pie, which I'm so excited that I found. I honestly should have brought two packs of this one, but very excited to have Warm Apple Pie because it's one of my favorite scents, especially in the candle, which I'm sad I did not get this year, but it is so yummy and I plan on putting that maybe in the kitchen. So we'll see about that one. And then I have Cinnamon Spice Vanilla, which honestly could use any time of year. It's probably meant to be a fall scent, but I would feel comfortable using it any time of year. So happy to have that one. Okay, and starting off with some single ones. The first one I got is actually from the $2 table. So this is Pumpkin Clove. So happy that I found this one. It came out to be $1.60. So very excited about that. This is going to be a good one to use this fall. And then the other ones were on the $3 table, so they were like, what, $2.40? Yep, $2.40. So very excited about that. So the first one is Sunshine Mimosa, which I've been loving this in body care, so I thought I'd pick it up in the home fragrance. The next one is Wildberry Jam Donut, which I'm so happy that I found. My mom actually spotted it first, and she was like, you're going to want this one. It's a donut scent. And I was like, yes, I'm so happy you found it. So yes, Wildberry Jam Donut, very happy about that one. That could be a fall one or spring, summer, I'm really not picky. And then the last two here are raspberries and whipped vanilla, which honestly a good year round scent, probably not like around Christmas time, but any other time of year. And then Waikiki Beach Coconut, which I thought I'd get either for this summer or we'll save it for next summer. So happy about that one. my final Bath & Body Works SAS 2022 haul. You guys are have, gonna have to hold me accountable because I should not be buying anymore, okay? So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!